We owe it to ourselves and to those who yearn for the same freedoms that are enjoyed and even taken for granted in Berlin today. And we need to form an even stronger partnership to bring down the walls of the 21st century and to confront those who hide behind them, the suicide bombers, those who murder and maim girls whose only wish is to go to school, leaders who choose their own fortunes over the fortunes of their people. In place of these new walls, we must renew the transatlantic alliance as a cornerstone of a global architecture of cooperation. When we come together to uphold the common good, there is no constellation of countries on earth that has greater strength. There is no wall we cannot topple. There is no truth we can be afraid of. Now as in the past, we know that the work ahead will not be quick and it will certainly not be easy. But once again, we are called to take ownership of our future and to affirm the principles and the sacrifice of the generations who helped us reach the milestone we commemorate. The ideals that drove Berliners to tear down that wall are no less relevant today. The freedoms championed that night are no less precious. And the rights and principles that brought us to this hour are no less deserving of our defense. Now, some of us may not be here to celebrate the 50th anniversary, although if I were placing bets, I'd bet on Henry. <laughs> but we must be confident that the men and women who gather on that occasion will look back on us as we look back now on them on the generations that brought us through the Cold War and eventually saw the blossoming of all that sacrifice during 1989. So let us resolve that when our actions are examined against that backdrop of history, our children and their children will be able to say that we served them well. Thank you very much. Um, as they're standing here and having their pictures taken, let me just say, Madam Secretary, thank you for that powerful and significant speech on this historic uh, occasion. You talked about bringing down the walls of the 21st century and confronting those who stand behind them. You've carried the lessons of the past into the responsibilities of the future. You now have standing beside you tonight's awardees, but you also have what Dr. Kissinger, the longest serving member of the Atlantic Council Board, uh, called the club. The club of national security advisors and foreign ministers who are looking out for the best of their countries and the best of the alliance and the best of the world. Uh, we salute you all and, we, uh, and I declare the inaugural Atlantic Council Freedom Awards concluded.